Hey there, we have another great tutorial video for you here today. This is a quick one just to help you distinguish the difference between a contact record and a call record. Let me show you what I mean. Most days when you come into the system, you'll start here on your dashboard to get a snapshot of your call or campaign statistics. But then you'll go into your call activity screen. This is where you'll spend the most time on the system, looking at individual calls and texts as they come in and go out from you and your team. What you'll notice is that within an individual call, you can go and get more details about that call by clicking the call detail button. Now you can see a little bit more about the individual call. You can listen to it in double or triple time and you can see how long it lasted and other small details like that. You can also see that you have notes that one of your teammates has written about the call and if there were any reminders or appointments, you would see those as well. Again, all of this pertains to the call. But perhaps you want to dig a little bit deeper or to edit information about the caller themselves. That's where you would scroll down to Associated Customer Records and go to the Contact Record. If you hit the Contact Record Detail button, it will take you to a screen like this. It's really an entry, a contact entry, and if you've seen our video on editing contact records, you know how easy it is to come in here and make any changes that are necessary, perhaps to their identifying information or their contact information. If you wanna get directly to information about contacts, you don't need to go through the call activity screen first. You can always come here to the contacts heading and click manage contacts. This is your entire contact list that you have uploaded into this campaign. You can do the same thing and filter by tags and scroll to find that individual person who had made the call, but now you go directly into their contact record where again, you can edit details and you can still see information about past activity that has happened between you and your team and that prospect here in the notes. So I hope that clarifies the difference between a call record and a contact record and how you navigate, and how you navigate between the two.